Hello everyone, welcome back to the shed. I'm Lonnie. Hey, I'm Candace. Welcome back. Um, today we're going to start out with our haul from Saturday garage sale. It was it was great. Another good day. Um, love this early garage sale season. Yes. Um, the weather's been beautiful and we've been finding some great stuff. So we're going to get into it and show you what we found. We think we thought it was great when we bought it. Sometimes whenever we show y'all, we're like, hey, why'd we buy that? It's kind of like <laughs> it's kind of like the ugly lights in the bar. Everything oh. looks good, then at the end of the night they turn the lights on and you're like, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let's get right into it. Speaking of ugly, <laughs> uh -uh. <laughs> Lonnie loves these pigs. I don't love them. You but do I love think them. they're cool though. They really are. So they're made with, um, they're welded together just different things like pitchfork. I think these are like suspension. Spoons. I think these are suspension shocks. springs. Yeah, shocks. Springs like from a truck or something. Yeah. Like nuts and bolts, just all kind of things. These are tines from a metal rake, I think. Yep, we got spoons for the ears, <laughs> little springtail. Uh, this one has wings, this one does not. What did you pay for these? Five dollars a piece. Okay, five dollars. They're heavy, y'all, too. You, you know what they? You know what that reminds me of? Oh. It reminds me of like the tramp art kind yep. of stuff that they would sell at the Angola Prison Rodeo. Yep. Yep, they just you know make artwork about? out of stuff they have. Yeah, yeah. They, well, they would um, at the prison radio. They would have like this little fair thing. Mm -hmm. It's kind of scary. I think some a lot of the a lot of the prisoners there, they're like behind like fence and barbed wire, and they're all like and they're grabbing onto the fence, like staring at people as right. they walk by. So, yeah, so there, there's a table laid out with the stuff they made on it, and then there's a fence right behind the table, and they're standing behind the fence. So they are right there looking at, looking at people buying their stuff. It's, it's some of them, some of them are serious, mm -hmm. you know, like like they're craftsmen and they they want to sell their stuff. And they have a woodworking shop in there where they make really nice like rockers and stuff. Yeah. And that stuff sells out every rodeo. Like you have to get there the first day of that morning or that stuff is gone. There's also a lot of stuff like this. Mm -hmm. Probably where they're teaching them a lot of them how like vocational stuff. Yeah. For right. when they get out, hopefully, yeah, like you know, welding or woodworking or whatever, right? So they can have get a job when they get out, yeah. But then there's also some of them that are just leering. Yeah, they're just standing there watching the people, <laughs> which is only fair because the people are going there to watch them. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's true. Fair. No, that's true. So, but yeah, these these guys are heavy. Like, how much do you think he weighs? This dude. That one is. There's stuff on the scale. That yeah. one is like super heavy. Yeah, it is. Okay, um, Cooper Cooler, if you don't, if you haven't heard of these, it's just an electric, um, wine bottle cooler. Chiller, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, you just... You put, you put ice in here, I think, or not? Yeah, you do, right? I don't, I don't, I've never used one. I don't know. I think you put ice in there or something. I don't know. And then it, no, and then it, or, or no, it recirculates the water. I think it cools the water and moves it around. Or I don't something. know. We've, I, we've still had it before and never used it. <laughs> Yeah, this one was in really good condition. Yep. Uh, we paid $5 for this What one. do they sell for, approximate? Like, I think 30 35 something? somewhere up in there. Yeah. yeah. I haven't seen one in a while. Yep. Uh, a couple of video games, what, a buck a piece? Yeah, I never looked them up. Oh, okay. I, I, I picked, they had a stack, and I'm like, okay, these two look like they could do something. I never even bothered to comp them yet. Okay. So maybe these are like super rare or something. Maybe so. Ona Mushu, Musha? And Tao Fang Fist of the Lotus. Let me look them up real quick. Okay, I just looked these up. These are... <laughs> Pickles. <laughs> I took a shot. I think that was the first sale we went to that th that morning. And, yeah, it was early. And, yeah, I need some more coffee. I, we didn't look those up either. No, these are... Um, we got this for a dollar a whack. They're Tamarack uh, new lens cases. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so... We, we did pay a dollar. I, I offered her a dollar for yeah, those. Yeah, we paid a dollar. So we paid... We have two dollars into them. We have two of them. Yeah. Tamrac's a good, usually, generally a good camera bag brand. So I figured we'd take a shot up at those. This is a. Um, oh, wow. This is cool. A vintage jacket. Uh, it's made in USA. We're thinking probably like 90s. Uh, LSU, little um, bomber. That, I think that's definitely a 90s logo, yeah. I think. Still has the tags on it. Yeah, look, check yeah. this out, y'all. It's got the officially licensed tag on it. And yeah, Holloway, Made in USA, Men's XL. It's a good size, yeah. It looks like super clean. And you could tell like on these kind of jackets, because we sold this kind of jacket a lot. Yeah. A lot, usually it's older than this, but you can really tell 
like if there's uh if these little white lines look dingy or yellowed yeah and these look I almost wonder if this was still like in some kind of plastic and they took it out for the sale you know no, it looks perfect because it's perfect condition and we we found a used one like this it sold not too long ago uh for 45 mm -hmm. so i think we probably have 50 60 something like yeah. that yeah we paid what five no uh-uh it was like two dollars oh even better okay uh cobbs jersey majestic brand it's Castro as a player. I don't even know the guy's first name. Yeah. I think that's about a $30 jersey. We paid five bucks for it. These are some little um, capsule. They're some... called Genshin Impact Capsule Collection. These sold, these are from Japan. These sold for $54 uh, new. Ours are not new. But we do have extras with them too. No, we don't. Oh, they, 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 they show this, six. They have this stuff no that's what i'm talking about oh, okay we have these little sidewalk things and then this little guy i don't know if he's supposed to go it with looks like pikachu almost yeah i don't know so, so you paid a couple of bucks for that yeah we got all this stuff at the same garage sale um yeah. up to up not, to the end this, of the action yeah. figures there um some manga books paid a quarter each for those we have a good little stack there yeah these are all the same Oh, so is that. Oh, they're all the same line except for this one, I think. Yeah. And then uh, choose your own adventure set for 50 cents. Yeah, you can't beat that, huh? Now, this is not the... Um, the vintage. The vintage one. This is like... They they started making them again at some point. I don't know what Well, they may be vintage. They're not the ones like from the 70s or whatever. Uh, No, I, I think these are like... Yeah, I don't think they're vintage, though. No. They're, they're probably like 2010 or something. Yeah. You know? Um, these are Harry Potter dolls. I think they were made by Mattel. Uh, paid two dollars each for them. I was planning on lotting them up. I didn't realize. <laughs> I, I just was grabbing. You have them. a bunch of the same ones. Well, no, I have doubles of Hermione and um, Ron. Ron. So I might. I'll probably do like a lot like that, and then put those two together. Is that Dumbledore over there? Yeah, and um, a lot of them still have their wands, so that's good. In fact, they all might. Any idea of the value? No, I did look up lots, and I'm thinking maybe like uh, I was thinking like. 40 30 to 40 dollars um but now i'm gonna make two lots so i have no idea what I'm what'd you pay for these two dollars each I, I, sh I overpaid yeah i did we should have offered a dollar huh they, yeah. they probably would have taken it um these are half vibram soles um they're just combat boots apparently not the original laces so probably like, not yeah um 10 bucks for those the yeah. um, soles are in really good shape still they're they're in good shape they, they're kind of dirty they are but they're still structural we might be able to clean them up though yeah try a brush on or them a or magic something. eraser or something magic yeah. eraser no that's suede suede it is a suede <laughs> leather oh my gosh okay did we really do good this weekend hmm ugly lights okay here's some more stuff paid ten dollars for these three challenge coins we went to a garage sale uh ran by people that do storage lockers so um they had a lot of military stuff they had a lot yeah and typically when you deal with people that do storage lockers you're going to get good deals but you're not going to get garage sale deals it's kind of in between estate and garage sale prices that, yeah yeah and i understand that like yeah. they gotta they gotta make their money like they they have money and like and they work their butts off <laughs> right right <laughs> So, uh, I, we don't know exactly how we did on these. These are um, three challenge coins. And let's see, Commander Navy Installations, Command. This is ROTA Spain, Rota Spain Naval Station. This is a big, heavy, chunky mm -hmm. challenge coin from 1989. Abe's Mustangs, which, which this has Abraham Lincoln on it. Abe too. Mustangs, mm -hmm. CVN 72. So that's from aircraft carrier. And then here's another one, same aircraft carrier. This one, does, I don't think, mentions. Oh, this just has the oath of enlistment on the back of it. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, paid. They had a Mark V each. I paid 10 for all three. I'm going to make a little money on those. It, it'll probably end up being like. $35 for the three or something like that. I might even just sell them all together. Yeah. Um, this is a new iron. The box has a little something on it, but it is new. Um, Pressa Bella dry steam iron. I don't know how you make dry steam. I don't know what that's all about. 
I think I paid three dollars for it. Steam? How do you have dry steam? Steam is made out of water. I know. I don't know how that works. Is it magic? Does it just pull it out the air? Maybe yeah, it uses I, I, moisture I from the air. Maybe so. I don't know. No, they show it. Put they show they show pouring water in. Yeah, I don't know. Why is it called dry steam? What's going on here? Okay, we bought these for us, twenty-five cents each. Do just spread them around. Yeah, just I mean we have full size fire extinguishers. This will give us some more in different places. Yeah. In the in here and in the house. And they are they're still good, at least yeah. till the end of this year. Right. We only paid twenty five cents a piece for it. Look, there's the thing. Yeah. They're only twenty five cents a piece. I'm like, look. These are can't. probably good to have nearby, like when you're doing cookouts and stuff too. Right. Or so. yeah, yeah. So. Keep keep one in the kitchen. Keep one here and there. Yeah. Uh, oh, that way you always have a fire extinguisher around. Um, little brother label printer. Yeah, that's not a real expensive one. I, it doesn't print four by six labels. It prints like um, I don't remember the size. Y'all can look it up if you want. It's a QL six hundred. Um, it is. It's a new open box kind of thing. Like everything is. I don't want to take it out too much, but everything is like still factory wrapped and packed mm -hmm. in here. The outer box is open now. Ended up paying, that was from the uh, storage people too. Mm -hmm. Paid $15 for that. They had it marked for 20. They were kind of working with us on some of their prices. Nordicware pumpkin pan, two bucks. Okay. Oh, that's to make one round pumpkin, huh? Yeah, you, you put them together after you bake it. Okay. And then um, this is an Astro's bag. I'm saying vintage. I don't know how old I'm pretty it is. sure it's vintage. Yeah. I don't um, I don't know for sure there. It's a little dirty, but I only paid a buck for it. I'm going to throw it in the wash and see if I can get it clean. What the heck, you Let know? Let me see. What's it got on the end? Kroger. It must have been a stadium giveaway or and something. And then I don't know what, I guess that's H. It's just H, Houston. Houston. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. yep. All right, let's do another round. Okay, these are just replacement burners for uh, gas grills. They're new. New in they package. A, a big one and a little one. Five each for those. Yep. That's probably like, probably the small ones where we'll get 20 and the bigger one we might get 25, 30. Yeah. Four. Um, this little, <laughs> this little guy is for me. It's going to go next to my sink. It's to put your rings on when you're washing the dishes or like whenever I make meatloaf, I take my rings off. So now I have somewhere to put my rings. <laughs> I, I do not like that thing. It says Pensacola Beach, Florida on it. Yeah, it's a souvenir. It's, it's a cheesy souvenir from yeah. the 60s what, probably. Yeah, what does that have to get, do with Pensacola Beach? I don't know. Yeah, you know, the clowns in Pensacola. Well, they did have, um, you know, the the back when we were growing up, all the beach towns, some of them still do, but it was really big to go to the amusement parks there. Oh, sure. So um, it was probably sold at an amusement park. Uh, we picked us up some Mr. Clean Magic Erasers for 50 cents. Is that a new box? It looks like it opened. Oh, I thought it was new. Oh, man. Oh, they're used. Not too bad, though. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm like, look at you. Oh, God. We bought used Wait, Magic there, Erasers. There's two new ones in there. <laughs> Oh my god. Hey, they're still good. Oh, Look yeah. at that. What happened? We bought half a magic eraser for 10 cents. <laughs> <laughs> Man, bottom of the barrel. Man, we just don't look at what we buy. Do we? No, I really thought they were sealed. I know. When the lights were out, this looked great. <laughs> turn on the ugly lights. And <laughs> it's a half a box. Okay, um, bought these for $2 for all three because um, they say made in Japan, Ironstone oven proof which is usually good we just looked them up there that's probably about a little 15 to 20 dollar little, yeah, little stack of dishes 15 that's to 20. fine whatever um this is a cool little mug Tetra tektronics they make uh test equipment they make um like uh spectrum analyzers oscilloscopes things like that 50 cents for that yep a couple of cookbooks this is well not really a cookbook it's pots pans and pioneers louisiana which you know we usually pick up their cookbooks they're pretty good this is actually um, blanks to put your own recipes yeah. in there. So that's pretty cool. Recipe. And it's indexed. Yeah. So, um, yeah, they put that out. And then this is a tel uh, Telephone Pioneers of Kentucky cookbook. We found comps for both. Of we found a comp for 25 bucks for this from January. And then we f we saw a comp for this for like 15 And it's in pretty good condition. Oh, it's in really nice yeah, condition. So. And then some more like camo type um shoes we was that vans or converse we picked up they're vans the other ones i mean oh those other ones uh i think they were 
I don't know. Yeah. I don't remember. Those are vans, though. Yeah. Um, this is interesting. There's like a tag on the front right here. That's I, weird. It, I think they tried to make like, I think they wanted to make it look kind of like a... Um, military? Military. Oh. Uh, like okay. a little military a, de a D tag or whatever. Okay. Let's go ahead and take these stickers off yeah. now. Because, because that's suede. suede. Yeah. Those are um, my size. They are. You They're not really them. my look, though, and I don't like used shoes, honestly. Yeah, I oh, know you don't. <laughs> I just don't. We paid $5 for those. I, I don't mind buying and selling used shoes. I just don't like wearing used I shoes. Know. I know. Five bucks for those. All right, we got some more gumbo bowls. These um, look good with the lights on. Yeah, these are interesting. Um, we bought 12 of them for $20. And there was vintage ones that looked just like this. And then it looks like two other companies started producing them again. These are from 1996. They're kind of vintage, not like yeah. vintage vintage. Um, so we have 12. I think I'm going to be able to get um, like 40 to $50 per four bowls. So we'll do three lots of those and sell them that way. And they have a... Uh... They have a gumbo recipe on them. Yeah, they have a nice look to them. Yeah, they have. When we looked at the comps, it's weird. Like, there's another comp. Okay, these are young. Y'all can see how that's spelled. Right. The ones we have are. Show them at the top what you searched. Youngberg. Yeah, ours is spelled like this. So there's two companies that reproduce them. Um, they're saying vintage. I think. I think you have the really old ones and then that company maybe in the 80s. Yeah, but the thing is, that's weird, is there's also sales for this more recent release. Yeah. Um, there's two bowls for $42. Look, somebody sold, I think, look, this is just one bowl for $25 plus shipping. Right. And they sold four of them. Yeah. Well, that was in 2022. Oh, here's four Youngberg. Oh, $130. Four, they got $130 in August of last year for just four of these bowls. Okay, so maybe more than what I was thinking. Yeah, I think I think it is more. Yeah. And I don't think people care. There's no actives right now either, so that's good. Yeah, I, I don't think people care whether it's the 1970s Le Jungberg spelling or if it's this other spell. They don't care. Yeah. Because the present, they, it presents. They look exactly the same. It presents the exact same. Yeah. It's very but strange. All these, all this kind of stuff. Oh, look, it is interesting. Look, they put, they very clearly, they, that looks like it was added after the fact. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. I do like them though, because it's got your ingredients on one side and the recipe here. Um, starting off with make a roux. So yeah, very cool. Maybe you could even, yeah, you might even. That build was a, like one of the last sales we went to, also, and they were still sitting there. Could, uh, Candace, Candace saw him. Candace pulled a little move. I did, y'all. Okay, so okay, Lottie, you come stand. Well, they won't be able to see. Never okay, mind. it's all right. I'll talk about it. So they were on this table, like right there, and there was a lady right here looking at some stuff. Well, she, I could see her like right here, and she was. And she was kind of working her way down, yeah, right? And I turned around, and I saw these. I saw seafood gumbo. I turned around and I went like this. <laughs> I boxed her out. You have to. You have to. There's nothing wrong with that. No. It, it, now, if she was already on them, then yeah. You know. Now, I swear I had already looked at that table and didn't see these. I'm wondering if they had them out somewhere else and, and put them up there. And maybe maybe they had them below the table and nobody could see them at first or something. Right, because, I mean, one of the last sales of the day and they hadn't sold yet. Twelve of these gumbo balls. That's ridiculous. Those would sell. Yeah. Those would sell so instantly. Somebody would buy them just for their own self. We may even be able to sell these local cans. Yeah. You know that? Yeah. So we're, where we wouldn't even have to ship them. Right. Okay. I bought this. Um, this is from the Service League of Natchitoches, Louisiana. Still magnolias in the kitchen. Um, I didn't find any actives or any solds, unless I'm searching the wrong thing. So I just went ahead and picked it up on a whim. Uh, Three dollars for that. Um, okay. It's it looks brand new. It's you know. That's interesting the way it's constructed. It's like yeah. spiral bound inside of a hardcover. It's very nicely done. Yeah. yeah. So, um, KitchenAid, authentic KitchenAid attachments. They're pre-owned. It's not new. Um, with the KitchenAid bowl. Um, and the guard thing. And the other little bowl guards. Um, I'm thinking 45 to 50 for this set. And I paid five for everything. Did you? Mm -hmm. <coughs> What does that say? That says two dollars. Oh, two. Okay, yeah, you paid two dollars. Two dollars. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't remember. Oh, four dollars for these. 
Um, I've sold these several times. In fact, I picked some up on Friday. I've never had them in the box, though. I think you I think you currently have five sets of hot rollers I to know. list. It was like hot roller weekend. It was. Um, and I pulled these out, and they looked good. Oh, that, is that a factory wrap on that cord or not? I don't know. Looks like a pretty good wrap. I'll be able to tell by the way the rollers look, if they were used or not. Yeah. But these always sell. People like them for traveling, you know. And then last thing we have... Um, she had these marked 12 and 6. I paid 15 for both. It was 18 and I asked her if she'd do 15 for both and she did. Echo Chef Contact Grill? That's a George Foreman grill? No, no, no. No, it's not George Foreman. I know it's not George Foreman. You know Foreman, the Copper it... Series pans? The Copper pans? Uh-huh. It's the same company. Copper Chef? Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. I, I, I looked this up. I didn't look this up. Um. I think this will sell for about 40 It is new. And um, I'm just like, I'll throw this in the camper if if it's not worth anything. Or maybe I'll lot them together. Don't know what I'm going to do. But the blender's worth like 40 bucks. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So. Is that everything we bought? That's everything. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It, it was interesting. We actually bought more stuff and I, I think did a little better on Friday yeah. than we did on Saturday. And that happens sometimes. I think so. Because Friday, there's not as many shoppers out, you know. Um, oh, there were a lot of shoppers Friday, but there were so many garage sales yeah there were a lot saturday too yeah and there were a lot of shoppers saturday too they were, it yeah. was yeah the the weather i don't know if the weather could be it could have been any more perfect mm -hmm. but um we are going to put all this stuff up and in the morning we'll continue with you guys on this video and yeah. we're going to pull the orders yes uh the stuff that we sold on ebay macari poshmark, poshmark. yeah i think so we'll see you on the morning Alrighty, time to pull some eBay Macari Poshmark orders. Yes. Yeah, we almost did a hat trick. Not quite. Well, we did get a hat trick. We just didn't get the... We didn't... Uh, oh, a lot of people told us it's not really a hat trick because that's three. I know what it is. But, but what they did say, it's like hitting for the cycle in baseball where you have to get a single, a double, a triple, and a home run because that's four okay. things. So Etsy is our home run that we, we can't ever seem to achieve. <laughs> Right, or, time we have. or it might actually be the trip. The triple, I think, is a little harder to hit than a home run, even. Well, I didn't know about that because I don't like baseball, y'all. I don't like baseball a whole lot either, but I kind of knew that. I do like hockey. In fact, we're going. I'm going to see hockey this week. Mo most of the long hits that don't get out of the out of the ballpark, I think, are doubles, because a triple has to get hit to very specific spots out there. You yeah, know. I don't know. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Uh, Six Fox Trot, DC Direct Dove action figure. No box. Okay. Oh, yeah, one of these. Yeah. Yeah, we have bad boxes on some of these things. So Candace just took them out of the box yeah. and left them in the plastic, though. Mm -hmm. Yep. People okay. People will pay almost pretty much as sealed as they would for that. You know? Yeah. $19.99 for that one. Uh, we sold a loose vintage Chewbacca 9 Delta L. Oh, you changed it? No, in my mind. I oh, didn't. in your head? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Chewy. <laughs> L with Bowcaster. $44.99 for that one. All right. Okay, I like this these packs so far. We sold 18 Reapers core action figures. 10 Charlie, Big C. And Charlie C. Yeah. Ready? That was one of my cooler photos of those guys. Of those yeah. Groups. Yeah, those, those were cool. They look like it was kind of scary, really. I know. Uh, <laughs> $31.49 for those guys. Eight Delta Wonder Woman in her golden armor figure. She's a cool looking one. Eight Delta. Is this in package? Yeah. That's not her. Well, that might be her behind here, though. Okay. Yeah, with the wings and everything. Yeah. All right. $12.99 for that. That's all you get for that? I know. Gold. She's so cool looking. Yeah. Look, it's all action figures so far. I know. Look at this. Eight Echo, a Christmas village building. Okay. It's a wonderful life. Go. 
Illuminated. Okay, that's the city hall. Yes. Forty-four dollars and ninety-nine cents for that. Okay, I was about to, I was about to attempt a Jimmy Stewart in person impression. Oh, I was like, you know what? Maybe I won't. Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> please don't. Okay, the next order has two items on it, and they're both in the cube. Uh huh. I think like that. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I like this order. Micro checkers game. Yeah, this is awesome. For the trash eighty. Oh, you even remember that. Look at yeah. you. <laughs> yeah, Trash 80 game right here. Oops. Right behind the coffee cup that'll never sell. Micro Checkers Trash 80, yeah. And then um, the four player adapter for the Game Boy. Yeah. Sealed adapter. The two best things in the cube, probably. <laughs> um, both of those together, $72.48 plus shipping on top. Yeah, this is the one we picked up just this past weekend for yes. um two dollars yep no we got it friday friday and listed it friday for two dollars and listed it that day yep. yeah yeah hey delta we sold a door mail slot should only have one left one le man that was good yeah eight delta They're okay. all wrapped in paper. yeah and they're back here like with a bra <laughs> yeah, we got all kind of, we got shoes in here. We need to bag that bra. <laughs> uh, we, you know what? We need to put that bra on uh, plastic. Why? Does it make you blush? No, it's not that. No, I just don't want it to get like dusty. <laughs> you don't dusty. like handling it? No, I don't. That's fine. Actually, it's kind of nice and soft. I like it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying is, like, I think we just need to like protect it. Okay. <laughs> $35.99. Well, you didn't you didn't expect that answer, huh? I caught no. you off guard. No. <laughs> it's nice. Uh Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Chrome Dome figure eight Bravo. Okay. Boy, everything's right over here today. Eight Bravo. Oh. Is this him? No, that's not him. Is it? That's yeah, him. that is him. him. Okay. Okay, $24.99 for that one. Man, lots and lots of action figures. Um, we sold two Claudine Wolves, two separate orders. So I'm going okay. to pull two of those. And then um, I'm showing seven left. Okay. One. Two. She says we have seven left. Um, one, two, three, four. Candace, I think we have five. Okay. I think I have that two on the unlisted shelf. I'll check that in a minute after we're done. Okay. Um, ten ninety nine each for those. The, and those orders came back to back. No, there was. I mean, uh, okay, you just did it while I was back there. Yeah, just okay. pull them out. Um, right. They weren't even on the same day. Yeah. Okay. Hobbit 48, Star Trek, Year 4, Volume 2, Enterprise Experiment. Why are you talking like that? <laughs> Enterprise Experiment. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. Which book is it? Whoa. What book is it? Star Trek. <laughs> no, 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 no. But what's the number? I don't want to hear all the whole thing again. Forty-eight. Okay, it, it was flipped to forty-eight. Oh, creepy. Oh, that's just that's the last book I listed. That's why. Oh. Just say, shed ghost is at it again. <laughs> Nine ninety-nine for that. Okay. Six Charlie One Punch Man Volume Twenty Two Manga Book. Yeah, we actually picked up some more manga uh, this weekend. This weekend. Okay. One Punch, eh? Volume 22. One Punch Man. Man, these titles are just so uh, hilarious. They're funny. <laughs> no, no Vampire, No Happy Ending is my, one of my favorite ones. <laughs> I don't want to know what that's about. <laughs> is it over here? That, that was the craziest one. No Vampire, No Happy Ending. I don't remember. Where's it at? Just so y'all don't think I'm just making that up. No, no, I think we sold them. Oh, we sold them. Okay. Well, I promise you I'm not making this up. <laughs> that, that's not something I came up with. One Punch Man sold for $8.99. Okay. Six Charlie, uh, the little chrome robot. 
Oh, yeah, I just moved him out of the way to get to the book. Which, man, I wanted to keep him so bad. I was Cancel hoping, the order. No, I was hoping he was only worth like $6, and I'm like, okay, cool. Uh, well, I did probably get... Uh, no, I think I priced it about right. Twenty four ninety nine is what we got. He's not working, by the way. Right. What's it work if it's worth it, do you know? A uh, pretty good bit. I mean, if you have the box, have it box, it's worth a lot. Yeah. Uh, we saw it a good Hot Wheel. Two Charlie C2. It's the uh, Volkswagen Drag Beetle. Oh, speaking of that. It's... What, what kind of it's a golf car yeah oh this is the one that people warn me it's c4 mm, c2 oh that's a drag bus you said drag beetle huh yeah. that was okay yeah all right this is the drag beetle here c2 number 120 of 4000 number 120 of 4000 correct $84.99. Just just uh just a little a little spoiler somewhat. Uh we may be getting uh just a few more Hot Wheels. Yeah. A few more really cool ones. Yeah. I uh, do we just don't know when yet, but, yeah. but that's coming up soon. We heard it might be happening. Uh yeah. Okay. It's definitely happened, I think. Yeah. Um we had an auction in for some Lenard Alien figures, five Charlie Wright. Okay, it's just this, there's another bag in there. It's both bags. It's both bags? Yeah. So it's these guys, yep. and then the two like big robot mech warrior looking dudes? Yep. Okay. Yeah, these are like mech, mech suits or something, huh? Yeah. Okay. Uh, they're called exoskeletons. Ec okay. Um, those sold for $41. Four foxtrots of born women's clogs, leather clogs. Okay. Oh. Oh my goodness. Some hats in there. Oh. Okay. They're back here. See I think so. Yeah, I got them. I got them. They've been listed. It's been a while. Yeah, they have been listed a while. Sixteen dollars and seventy-nine cents. Move that uh, Chewbacca on top of that other box. Oh, oh. <laughs> easy chew, chewy. All right, what echo? We sold a beer sign. Okay, this one is Heidelberg Perkyo. Okay, that ain't gonna, that ain't gonna help me. One echo. <laughs> There's, I think there's like two or three down here. I think it might be the shortest one. Let me see. It said, what does it say on the bottom? Heidelberg or something? Yeah. This might be it. Knocked all these videotapes over. Let's see. I think this might be it. I hope it is. Airs in Heidelberg. Let me see it. Yeah, that's it. That's it? Yeah. Okay. That one there sold for $13.99. All right. Yeah. We, I bought a bunch of, um, bought a bunch of Steins. This was last year. Yeah. And we had some that were really good. They were vintage, but not like, Oh, vintage. They were like 80s, 90s vintage. Yeah, yeah, but one of them, I think, I want to say one of them sold for like $75. Yeah, we had some good ones in there and um, some that were okay. The, these, This is really, this is a really nice Stein, but they, it just isn't worth much. Yeah, I mean, you know? Steins, there's just so many, so much out there. And they all look the same. Yeah, well, kind of. Sort of. Yeah. Um, we sold a Metal Men comic book. One Charlie J51. Ooh. That is an old listing there. Let's see. 
Should be right around here, I think. Yeah, it might be next. Let's see. Spoons. Oh, might be. Where is it? I was expecting it right there. J51? Yeah. All right. Hang on. Let me get this box out of here. All right. It's okay. So I thought we were going to have to cancel one. For some reason, it was all the way in the back. Look at the condition of that book. Yeah. I mean, is that a, that's a gorgeous book. Looks like it was bought and put into a sleeve. <laughs> yeah, somebody needs to, I hope they get this graded. $14.99. Although it might not even be worth getting graded. I don't know. Uh, Here, right. right, let me put this up. And then um, Sims Ikea Home Stuff PC Game for Bravo Right. For Bravo. Oh, right. Okay. Huh. Home stuff. So home stuff. <laughs> that's it. that's his nickname for me. I'm gonna start calling. Yeah, I've, I've been calling Candace home stuff for 20 <laughs> years now. <laughs> that's all for 14.99. <laughs> okay, we have one more item on eBay. We're not gonna pull it right now because it's going UPS, and we're gonna we want to get this stuff packed for the carrier. Yeah. So I'm going to jump over to Macari. We sold three things on there. The first thing is a brass horse weather vane, like a tabletop mm -hmm. decorative weather vane. It's on 5 Charlie. I think it's on the right. The on the right? Okay. Maybe I can reach through. Oh, no. It's right here. This guy. That sold for $37.12, shipping included. Yep. We got to do free shipping on that. Yep. So we're probably going to end up getting closer to 30 yeah 29 30 but at least we get all of it yep um we sold a turvis a red Sox turvis it's on 10 delta yep right here it's in great condition and that's all for 15 shipping included i think huh yeah uh, i don't know why uh but we do that from time to time. We gotta be careful with that. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. We're probably gonna end up making about. Uh, I don't know. We probably. I. Th I don't think we paid hardly anything for it. But. Yeah, I don't. I don't pay more than a buck or two. For we're probably only gonna end up making about six dollars profit or so. Yeah. yeah. That's fine. Um. And then we sold R five D four. R five D four. R five D four figure. It is um nine delta E. Okay, all right. Nine Delta E. I could tell it's him, even through the paper towel. That's all for $22.49 plus shipping. Okay. And then on Poshmark, we sold two items. Um, some Brighton. Brighton. Brighton um, shoes. Sorry, let me get them pulled up. Um, they are on two Charlie. They're Rosina is the pattern. I mean, the, the style. It must be these, huh? They're, they're box. Yeah. Okay. Is that the last pair of Brighton? Well, yeah, we have three more pairs. But I think it might be the last boxed one. I think so. Um, we sold those for 42 plus ship. Okay. And then we sold some Big Hero 6 figures. They're on, um... Come on, home stuff. Get together. Let's go. I'm lost. All right, hang on. Let me Wait, look. There's no skew. It doesn't have a skew. No. Oh, that that's bad. That means, cause we, that means we probably don't have a skew on, um... Let me look. All right. <laughs> okay, they're on 9, Charlie. It's, uh, some, it's, a, like, five or six little figures. Okay. Nine, Charlie. Is it, is it this? Yeah, Baymax is red for some reason. I don't know what's up with it. What color is he normally? I don't White. even know. Huh? White. Oh. He looks like a big Stay Puft. Oh, that's right. He does. Yeah. I've seen that before. Um, we sold those for twelve dollars plus ship. All righty, uh, time to get this stuff packed up, which will be in the packing video at some point i don't know exactly when the packing videos are always going to trail behind um the the pulling video by at least in probably at least a week yeah 
Um, so yeah, I'm going to put the camera on, get to packing and, uh, Oh, another thing about the packing videos, those, of you, those of you that like them, um, I did make a playlist for packing videos. So mm -hmm. if you, if somebody wants to watch nothing but packing videos for a few hours, yep, there uh, you go. there you go. <laughs> okay. All that stuff is packed. It'll be in a packing video soon on a friendly shed flips channel near you. <laughs> and, uh, we have one more thing. We um, do. Um, but, this is the big thing. Yeah. I went ahead and pulled it down cause I didn't, Cause it was up high and I didn't want to attempt. Oh man, this sucker is heavy. It's not, it's not that heavy. It's just so dense. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't want to attempt to pull it down, um, uh, one handed. So that's a, a serger we picked up a couple of weeks ago at a garage sale for 20 bucks. And, uh, she, the lady tested it right there for me. She showed me, she sewed up some stuff. So, um, yeah, we sold that for $202.49 plus shipping on eBay. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome, awesome profit margin. Like, this, yep. it's not fun to pack, of course, but uh, at that kind of profit, uh, I can withstand a lot of pain. Yeah. And it'll be, it'll be a good little thing to put on the old packing video, I guess. Yep. Uh, I'm thinking, you know what I might even be doing here? Let's see. I'm already thinking about packing. Yeah. This is the box. It's kind of no, that's not that's kind of tight. What I'm thinking I might be doing is making like a um, hand me that tape, that yellow tape right there. Okay. Let's see. Oh yeah, it's not that big. It's only like nine and a half inches that way and there's a motor kind of hanging I need to measure it this way a motor hanging off the back over here but even this way we're looking like 10 inches I'm thinking what might happen here I might make a double stack of 12 12 12 boxes um, and of course this will come down so Anyway, I'm sorry. I'm getting all into the minutia of packing this thing. As soon as I see it, I'm like, okay, I'm going to do this, this, and this to pack Watch it. Watch the video. You can see how he packed it. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure. They're edge of their seat, I'm sure. What happens next? It's like a... And the, unfortunately, that video is probably going to come out like a week after this one. So. Right. But it, it, it's kind of like uh, when you're a kid and you're watching Dukes of Hazard, and the, the bridge is out and they're getting chased. A literal, and, literal, literally a cliffhanger. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. And they're like, wah, wee -haw, wah, and then they're midair. And them Duke bars going to make it this time. <laughs> and then they go to commercial. And spoiler, I mean, I guess this is 50 years later or 40 something years they later. They always made the joke. They made it every time. Yeah. The cars did not. They no. they had a lot of cars. Mm -hmm. I listened to a, a, like a interview or something. They, I think they went through like a hundred and something cars or something so yep. all right i'm gonna go ahead and get this thing packed and we are gonna get to listing some of that cool stuff and today's a solar eclipse and it's cloud, oh. it's raining and cloudy here so we're not even gonna get the effects from it i guess it'll be pretty dark when it happens <laughs> yeah we won't well maybe it'll get a little darker yeah. anyway so. so all right guys thanks so much for watching we'll see y'all next time bye bye